Scorpio singles out there, let's see the December messages for you, Scorpio. Even if you're in a relationship or a situationship, a lot will be resonating with you. I'll make sure. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For accurate readings, one-on-one -on -one personals, I'm available on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. You can reach out to me for the same. I do at nominal prices. And we also have Viper-based spells and intention-based crystals for you to manifest your dreams. And <clears throat> last but not the least, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you guys stay connected. So I am more inspired to do much more readings for you guys in order to motivate you and give you a direction as much as I can give. Okay, so we have a Scorpio channel as well for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign or Mercury in Scorpio. Or if you're dealing with one, you can subscribe to my Scorpio channel. <clears throat> as well as my hindi channel which is i enigma hindi i try my best to put videos everywhere okay so do subscribe and help help the channel grow in order to give you more guidance and indirectly are helping me as well follow my instagram for december horoscopes that are coming up by today or tomorrow and <clears throat> they really resonate with a lot of people and uh, they will help you throughout the month as well as client feedbacks and other stuff, okay? Details are given below. You can check out more, whatever you want to. All right, so Scorpio. Let's see out there. Singles. Scorpio singles, please. I need messages for Scorpio singles, please. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Eight of Swords, what's happening, Scorpio? I feel like some of you or most of you are feeling tied down to something. I don't know what that is, but you guys are really feeling like there's certain situation <clears throat> that you want to come out of, but you're finding it difficult or you're not getting answers. Like, how do I get out of this trap or how do I stop thinking about this, this, this? Like a routine has become a pattern has become, how do I break free from that? Or should I take the step or not? You confuse no one you feel is guiding you right in order to find a conclusion to your situation. You're in your you're thinking in your mind. Okay. So a trapped situation, a frustrating situation for you right now. Or you need to come out of your comfort zone if you're in the same place, doing the same old thing. You have the similar monotony routine. <clears throat> Try to do something else so that you can distract yourself from the, you know, same old thing you've been doing. The magician. What you don't see coming is, <clears throat> sorry about my throat, a big change. There's a big change. I'm seeing a Libra Gemini Aquarius might be interested, but what I am seeing is that there's something that you're going to like wave your magic wand and anything you want is going to turn in your favor. That is something you want and that's not coming, but you might not see this as coming in 2023, January onwards. I'm seeing you changing and being able to call out on your manifestations. So <clears throat> things are changing super fast towards you for you Scorpio I'm seeing the red and the red here is also indicating intuitively to me that you guys have a lot of passions and dreams or there's something that you want to energetically put all your focus on it's based on your manifestation deepest desire but you don't know how to start or you don't know like what is the right direction or the path but I'm seeing you being more open, expressive about your desires, about your work, your action oriented. And that is leading you towards a major change in your personality as well. There's a major change in your lifestyle. There's major changes in how people perceive you. There's a lot of changes as that are taking place in your life. <clears throat> a lot more confidence an open mind, doing what you feel is right, no matter how other people perceive it, but you perceive it right. That's what you feel in this coming month. I'm seeing it's going to happen after a little while. I'm seeing this change in January 2022, three, sorry, but right now you're working on it. So two of pentacles is like you're right now engaging in a lot of different activities. Sometimes you focus on one activity, there's like a distraction and then you get distracted. These are the reasons you need to put yourself back in balance, focus on one thing and build a proper schedule around that, okay, to avoid any foreign 
interference or toxin or whatever so i am also seeing you're also focusing on building <clears throat> your career you might be doing some study you might be in your job you want to impress your boss so that they give you promotion if you're doing if you're doing business you want it to grow you want your company to get better and bigger and fluffier it is all going to happen the thing is that you're right now learning to balance you're learning to manage different things different tasks so it's a learning experience and eventually you're going to be pro in it let's see more to this so did you just notice what what the card is trying to say to you there's number one and then there's number two it's telling me that slowly and like initially you were not even able to move and now it's like a new beginning and then you're expanding okay this new beginning is bringing you so much confidence that you're taking up more stuff okay you're doing much better you're expanding <clears throat> Tell me more about the singles out there. I'm not seeing you asking for love or being too clingy or desperate over love. But yes, you do want love. But it's like you have your life too busy, stuck in your own thing, doing your own thing that you might not pay much focus to love and the other situations related to that. So I am seeing this eight of pentacles is more so talking about you being extremely focused on your work i'm seeing you're planning like this is okay this is all i'm gonna do like this is my resolution i'm going to put all my effort into this project i'm gonna impress my boss i'm gonna take the lead or whatever around that okay whatever you're thinking about you're working on it it's not like you're sitting and having your chips and waiting for the right time because the tarot reader said so uh -huh. you know you have to work this is just a hearing that I'm telling you, you're hearing me, but you are the one that needs to put all of this into action. Okay, so I am definitely seeing that Eight of Pentacles is like you, you know, <clears throat> you know, uh, putting your blood and sweat into your work. This is something that I'm getting to, I'm feeling, you know, on and again. Okay, that this is what I need to tell you. Put all your blood and sweat into it. Okay, there's something on those lines that I'm uh, telling you. You need to focus. You might get what I'm trying to say. Okay. Right now, it's time for you to build the world. You are just a step away towards your ultimate desire. Because I am seeing is this world is like a manifestation coming true. It's something to do with, okay, you have a goal in your mind. You want to achieve this position. But how? 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 It's more about you not thinking about how and you right, rather leaving everything behind, focusing on your, um, you know, efforts. Like there's something about hard work. I'm seeing when you put all your efforts in this, soon you will be the one that your so-called boss or professor, whoever is going to call you out and they will be like appreciating you, applauding you, people like looking and getting you know, giving you a major recognition and appreciation, you might get an award, you never know, Scorpio. <clears throat> and if you're on social media, there's a major fan following or an influence, you're influencing a lot of people in a lot of different ways. It all requires your attention. Okay, that's something that I'm seeing very strongly for you, Scorpio. I'm seeing that a Sagittarius might also be coming in. But what I am seeing right now is you're focusing on your manifestations goals seven of pentacles you'll see yourself being at a position where you can look back and pat on your back and say to yourself or feel to yourself look how far i have made it like it's like you're going to be a recalling you know the times that you've been working on your goals and now seeing the results and you're not able to believe your own eyes yes i did all of this myself so you're feeling proud of yourself as if you know your worth now it's because you've made you've put all your energy into it you've focused all your efforts into it and now you can just look at yourself and compare yourself with how you were like few years down the line 
in the past. So you're feeling proud of yourself. So a, a different sense of confidence and a different you is what I'm seeing in 2023. Even though this is a December read, but I'm seeing you preparing yourself for this. Okay. You will be a different person. Let me tell you. Chariot. And with that difference in your surroundings and your personality brings in a new love. And that new love could be a cancer. But this happens when you're totally involved in your goals, in your work, when you are traveling, when you're doing one thing or the other, you're active, you're proactive, your body's not, you're not sitting in one place, you're traveling, you're interacting with different people, you're taking up different tasks, you're, you know, you're building yourself, you're, you're just, uh, what's that called, you're, you know, you're moving, like you're running your mind, Okay, your mind is not lazy, like you're ma making it work, you're nourishing your brains. And that's why you're at a position where people are like, whoa, Scorpio, this is something. So I feel like you might be seeing yourself as a better uh, person than how you were before or at a higher position than how you were before. Some of you are buying a big car, a new car, you guys have had you know put all your focus into it and now it's time that you're buying it or a house maybe but there's something that you're buying that might be expensive and you're feeling proud of it it was like your long-term wish so for some of you is that okay but i am seeing with the chariot is like life has started to speed up in you in you in your you know surroundings i feel like you started off with eight of swords which you were not able to find a direction but somehow the trap is open and you're breaking free from the ties and you're moving towards new beginning and there's so much of pace you're moving with your life has started to speed up so it's like <clears throat> win-win situation no matter what you do you're going to be there okay you will be winning so Mm -hmm. the fool is talking to me about scorpio you're doing your own thing and not listening to what the others are saying you're just living your life you're doing what you want to do the confidence is on another level i feel like you have got a notch up in your life and you're on the another phase in your life okay you'll see yourself as a completely different person so a lot of people might get confused with okay this is you like that <clears throat> Maybe uh, an Aquarius or a Cancer as well interested. But I'm seeing you need to be careful while taking risks because you might be in such a such an elation that you might also end up taking a, you know, a bad risk. So be careful of not taking risks that are too, uh, you know, toxic in the end or might put you in situation challenges big challenges so take calculated risk is something that i'm saying <clears throat> because you're too much like going with the flow and which is good but be careful queen of pentacles see so what i'm seeing scorpio it's more about you it's more about you yourself what i'm seeing in december month it's more about you becoming a better person i'm seeing some changes in your dressing i'm seeing some changes in your bank balance i'm seeing your change some changes in your lifestyle your looks your appearance i'm seeing you feeling grounded while you're winning things you're getting better but you're still grounded there's there's a aura of you which makes people like get more attracted to you because they feel like wow how do they manage to stay grounded while they have so much of fame and attention from so much so many people it's like you've built a solid foundation to yourself and you're confident you've gone through some downfalls you've gone through some uphills but you are at a position where a balance has come okay and you know how to balance your uh, position and how to balance your emotions mentally physically emotionally so a lot is being learnt Scorpio these lessons were meant to bring you to a point of balance and today I can say Scorpio you're in a position where you feel more balanced okay <clears throat> your money is growing you're feeling stable you're not asking too much for things you're not begging for it as like you're going with the flow okay and that brings in more money stability when i'm talking about money it's not coming from the source of greed it's coming from the source of sense of security and stability okay 
what else? Snyder Sauce. Ooh, let me get more messages about this, the Snyder Sauce. What it is trying to say, the death. Whoever is planning against you in no matter what situation, they will fall flat on their face. There's a death situation to this person. As in, this person will no longer be able to hold a place in your mind or space in your mind rent free. This person will not able to control you as if someone's lost control with you, not no longer paying attention to these people, no longer paying attention to the toxicity because you have a lot that you have to achieve or you're achieving and you're happy wherever you are. No matter how your financial situation is, because all Scorpios might be going through some different uh, phases in their life right now. <clears throat> Being in flow, doing what you're doing, not thinking about or not expecting about your uh, you know, goal point, nothing, just doing your thing and going with the flow is something that's really attractive and is um, lethal. I don't know how I, I must put this into words. It's like, it is so aromatic, aromatic, okay, aura, like, very high vibrational so that energy is must to attract more money more love you know more friends more relationships or whatever but i'm seeing that you might be dealing with another scorpio or someone is trying to put you down okay if anyone is getting jealous of you is trying to put you down is making things or has been doing things like these in the past this people this person or more than one people may end up Failing, okay. The Eight of Wands and the Knight of Cups, okay. I am seeing a complete end to the past. I'm seeing a complete end to the past, Scorpio. This is all not only for the singles, guys. A lot of messages are talking about career, okay, which is for singles as well as doubles or situations or whatever. But what I am seeing is no more looking back in the past when it comes to your love situation, it's over. For the singles here, this particular thing that I'm telling you, past is done, completed. Anything or anyone coming from the past doesn't excite you and entertain you anymore. That's your like final, you know, call on things, on people. Now, I am seeing with this ending, I am seeing someone rushing in towards you with love. If you're already in a relationship, this person, if you're very good in a relationship, I'm seeing this person is going to be very loving towards you. But all those who are singles, I'm waiting on someone. I am seeing there's someone that's rushing super fast towards you. Maybe not in December, maybe in January, but there's something that's about to change with the magician. You're no more in that stuck situation. You're no more like sulking over things. Okay, in love or in career, I'm seeing, but in love, this person, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or someone that's rushing towards you with a lot of passion, this person will speak their feelings to you. They won't be like back and forth. They won't confuse you. They won't be changing like weather. They will be consistent. So that's the person that's coming in with a rush of communication, this fast communication I'm seeing. What else? Speeding up. Ooh, you're in their radar. I feel this person is already keeping a close watch on you. Since I told you it's no one from the past, it might be someone that you've just met or you're working with or it's someone that you're about to meet. I feel whoever this person is, they keep a close watch on you. Okay, because they're thinking about making a move towards you in love. So when they see you, they'll be like, whoa, the more I'm watching the Scorpio, the more I'm falling in love. So there's this person is badly falling in love. I feel like there's someone that's like coming towards you so fast, like there's a um, rush of love this person is bringing in. Okay, that passion they have for you, outstanding. Some of you could be a year or two younger. For some of you, okay, not for all. Tell me more. Scorpio. Ten of Wands. Ooh. 
they're finding it difficult to express their emotions because they don't know how you're going to treat them someone is definitely intimidated yes for some of you if you're thinking that can it be someone from the past enigma because yes they're one out of hundred who always say no i won't pass it could be only if they come with a completely changed or new energy but that's like in 10 percent out of all the people watching this okay so ten of ones is like this person is not uh feeling very confident to reach out to you okay they are having a fear of rejection four of swords they're wasting their time thinking thinking taking their time space they don't want to mix it all up like this person is someone that remains very calm and in any situation they like to keep uh calm and they're someone that will plan before they make a move unlike you scorpio or vice versa so they're coming towards you but they're planning too much or they're thinking too much of this i am grateful for the spiritual lesson maybe this person you've you've guided them over something you've been their teacher or some sort of an advice that is really stuck on their head and that advice has kind of opened their gates to success and they're being uh, grateful to you for this you've given them a life lesson some sort of a life lesson i feel okay so that's the reason for some of you scorpio children some of you this is a childhood friend some of you this is someone that is um younger than you but is having true emotions like there's a lot of love they feel towards you they want to discuss their feelings keep an open mind maybe they're different from your <coughs> past style of lovers or the personality is very different from what you usually go after but this person is someone that wants to have children with you and that's going to be like an innocent they want an innocent love like there's a spiritual connection this is not a a too too sensual or you know yes it is but it's not coming from that source this person is coming from true source like hearty connection heart to heart you know tell me more who is this person scorpio please okay five of pentacles okay i feel like they did approach you and you were like not paying attention to them because you thought okay this person might be my co-worker or there's not much interest but you might be shocked to know that this person is someone that's secretly keeping a close watch on you and is afraid of being rejected okay there's someone that is being afraid of being rejected here you're already not a entertaining this person or giving any response to this person pathway oh i'm definitely seeing you're in someone's mind okay male or female doesn't matter you're in someone's mind for sure and this person needs to come towards you and that is that path they feel like that process is something that is of like scaring them or making them anxious okay so they don't know how to reach out so i feel like they need to reach out to you on their own and they will be but you might cross each other's paths okay you might be like this person is traveling towards you with their family or something on a more traditional ground it could be anything it's like you guys are crossing each other's path or this person is traveling towards you but this relationship or this situation ship is going to end up into marriage okay someone wants to offer you marriage that's for sure what else infinite abundance what i'm seeing scorpius just because you started to focus all of your attention into yourself you are attracting a lot of luck means abundance that means not just happiness money as well life purpose is also resolved so you guys you have waited and had patience with what you want in your life and i feel that is why the universe is giving you this infinity in abundance fully supported and i feel like your life purpose is something that you really love doing okay 
and you're being fully supported by the angels above you have brought peace into your life i feel like there's a lot of peace that you will be starting to feel in this uh next year especially in 2023 i'm seeing all the negative energy negativity is leaving your life you're attracting peace you're attracting abundance you're attracting harmony okay your darkest fears face it right now in december month you might have to face the fears okay you might have to face some confrontations you might have to beat down your enemies but then in the end of the day this is coming to an end this is no more going to linger with you in the next year so face it i'm also sensing one thing that your all your darkest fears are being released and you're coming into the point of peace now these thoughts are no more haunting you from the past okay warrior woman even if you're a man watching this you're acting like a warrior you're acting like come over i'm gonna tear you apart like you're not scared of a thing you're no more in that bound situation you're going to be extremely strong it's because you put all your energy into one thing that is your goal and so that has built up an a confidence inside of you you know when we get into things that are consistent it brings about more happiness than getting into short-term happiness okay they're getting into doing things that bring about short-term excitement okay so because you put all your energy into your goal and you're working on it regularly have a proper schedule you might feel more confident in facing situations you're more like a warrior person whoever comes in front of you will be like turn down okay so i feel like you know exactly what you want you know exactly what you're where your heart is and you will be taking the decisions oh this is also talking to me about you saying no i feel in this month of december you might say no or you might reject a lot of proposals most of them could be from the past most of them could be to just try to get to know what's happening in your life and just get some energy of yours you'll be like clear about this no means no you're not going to be like in this 50 50 mindset you might become popular like there's some sort of a major popularity that might come into you your life because i'm seeing aquarius as well coming in if this is an aquarius they might be coming from a long distance they're very different from you very different religion background country or whatever or if this is you it's like you have started to express who you are to the world or to the society or to the company or to the workplace or wherever whatever your work is you're being recognized as a unique one unique person okay one unique dna is being recognized and applauded for who you are as a person what else do i see here magician see this is what it is i feel like it's more about you turning your life around in such a way that you wave your wand and you see things working in your favor so a lot of things are gonna fall into place whatever you put your hand on it's gonna be yours you're like a magician in this in this um, month especially in 2023 i'm seeing you will be the manifester in short okay see this is saying open to infinite possibility you can see some of you 59 you don't know what's coming for you you don't know that you have infinite opportunities to embark on to become super duper successful or in whatever situation you might get a highest position in your workplace okay even if you're in 50s, you're going to do amazing. Give it to God. So it is not like, you know, you ask for it. It's going to be like given to you. You ask for it, release it and let the God, let universe do it for you. Because if you have a tendency to hold on to things, they get delayed to happen. So you're not holding on to things like that anymore. Okay. That's where your uh, success is building blocks so it's like you're building a stable foundation even if you're in 20s you guys have uh you know reached a point where you're ready to build a solid foundation for yourself and can call yourself a bad bitch <laughs> even if you're male okay so let's see what else scorpio forgiveness so stop focusing i was talking about this and this is exactly what we got stop focusing all your energy into one thing okay 
and that's especially about something that's not manifesting and rather put all your energy into something that you want to manifest okay in order to create your reality because what you think becomes reality now let's see the signs that will be approaching you in this december month we have virgo we have taurus we have another scorpio these are the most probable signs i'm gonna see and then i'm gonna pull out some charms as well aries to pisces what does your person feel about you aries aries is like oh i need to have the scorpio they like taking a u-turn and wants to be proposing you but i feel it will be too late for you taurus Taurus sees you as a wish come true. They want to be your partner and they want to have kids with you. Then we have Gemini. Gemini is like, ooh, very attracted to you, especially how you carry yourself, Gemini. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. This Gemini is thinking like that for you. They're very attracted. Cancer. Cancer thinks you're stubborn. And they may have like feeling of you not taking interest in them. So you need to give them some hints here. Leo wants to be a forever friend. They want to expand in love with you. They think this is something that's promising. You guys definitely can be in a relationship. Leo wants a long-term commitment with you. They think you're their soulmate. Then we have Virgo. Virgo is rushing in fast, but they might come towards you as a little bit more aggressive. Okay, in their approach. I want the Scorpio like that. Libra is thinking about a relationship, very strong relationship, ready to accept you with whatever. And Scorpio, Scorpio is highly attracted to you. I feel they're going to tell you how much they are feeling strongly towards you, like how much they get attracted to you naturally. You know, there's a lot of communication that's going to take place. Sagittarius is right now not sure or confused, or this is someone that you haven't met yet. Aquarius wants to work things out. I feel like you guys might be working in the same place. This person feels like this connection definitely has a potential, even though there's still not much chance, but they still want to try on this connection. Pisces. Let's see. Pisces is changing for you. I feel if this person has been too arrogant, they want to be too loving. If they've been too loving, they're changing to becoming too arrogant. Okay. Now let's see the chance. third party mm. that's it yeah uh definitely sky's the limit and you guys may be rewarded with a badge or some sort of a merit and award is coming towards you see aw aw is also talking about that okay someone's name has awt it's also talking about heart okay someone might say that to you okay could be taurus could be leo and then you're being spiritually guided and protected follow follow your intuition love is coming towards you in the most unexpected way someone's from uh, someone's i feel like your person is a chef or you guys may have a dinner date um yeah it's also talking about what 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 is something to do with this person saying these words often or you're the one but i'm definitely seeing you being spiritually protected and then i'm seeing the third party like someone from the past trying to come back and you're like no i'm done please go okay so that's the energy for you do you want me to pull out some domino for you one and three okay there's some sort of an unexpected trip that might grant you success so that's a separate message i'll see you again with more readings don't forget to like the video and subscribe and i'm gonna keep comments open because you guys scorpio give a lot of nice comments so i'm gonna keep this section open and do claim it subscribe like it share it hit the notification bell follow my scorpio channel which is i enigma scorpio subscribe there and stay connected with me love you bye